how long did you tour with Dylan? Um, well, steady, like almost without going home for two years, from yeah. 88 up in the end of 90, and then two more years of in and out, off and on okay. stuff. And the last thing I did with him was that they did this big show at Madison Square Garden, the 30th anniversary on okay. Columbia Records. Okay. And pretty much everybody, like from Johnny Cash to Chrissy Hind, mm -hmm. was on that show. Right. You know? So that was really interesting. What do you think about you as kept becoming this like musical director figure in, in these major pop culture I think, situations? Um, I think that... that the years that I was on the, the TV show on Saturday, Saturday Night, Night Live, Live, right? Yeah, you have quite a presence on that show. Well, there's still nothing stronger than television yeah. in the United States. It was at the same time I did, Bob, while I was doing the show, a lot of... Uh, Which is phenomenal. A lot of airplanes. Yeah, were, and that he wouldn't yeah. book Saturday Night Gigs. He actually did that for a few years that, that he... on uh, the on, Well, they only do 20 Saturday Night Lives in a season okay. from like September to May or whatever, right? So he could still do like 30 Saturdays. So, so yeah. So 20, oh, yeah. <laughs> 20 of those Saturday nights, he, he would let me, you know, go home if I had to. But and, still, and for a guy show. like that yeah. to forfeit that for it you. It was pretty amazing. That's pretty, that yeah. must have like. Uh, I was honored to play, uh, play with Bob. I really was. I learned a lot. You know, he would. He, back then, in those days, it was cassettes, you know, but he'd right. give me cassettes, and, or he'd, on the bus, he'd play me a, listen to this now, listen to this guy. What'd you learn from him? A lot of, like, traditional songs, you okay. know, uh, American traditional stuff, Civil War songs. He has a, a library in his head of, of Civil songs. War songs. One time we come out, uh, the way that we would do the show, we had a, a trio, guitar, bass, and drums, yeah. right? And Bob. Okay, so I'm playing electric guitar, a bass player, and a drummer. Bob, up front. We would start the show like that, do half hour, 45 minutes, and then just me and Bob would come out with acoustic guitars. Mm -hmm. And he would play whatever he wanted. Mm. And I would just follow, follow him. Most of that show was just following Bob. You know, How hard was that, has that to do? I don't know how you I always love that. that seat of the pants. You love thing. it? Yeah, I do. That's I why you're that. good at it. Uh, I don't know if I'm good at it, but I do love it, you know? Um, and I was a big Bob fan from when his first record came out. I got his first record, you know, when I was like 11 or something. I yeah. got that record and I loved it, you yeah. know? Uh, did you ever actually have conversations with Dylan where you would ask him about? Or did you like geek out ever and like, hey, what did you mean? I geeked out more about Good guitars question. he had played and stuff. I didn't want to bother him about right. about that, you know. Um, yeah. I did have one uh, great conversation with him one time uh, on the bus about. I said, man, that must have been hard in the 60s when when they like made you out as the savior of the western world mm -hmm. you know and he said something like man i just wrote some songs yeah i just wrote some songs mm -hmm. that's what he said yeah <laughs> he wrote great songs